G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Ja Woodle, and welcome back to 7 Days to Die in Alpha 18, where I'm back in the fist only challenge. I've got my brand new steel knuckles with my core screws, my knives attached to my fist, which probably isn't a great idea, but whatever. I'm not concerned with how it's going to pull like little pockets of zombie out of the undead. I'm more concerned with the awesome amount of damage it's going to be doing. They're the hardest hitting knuckles I've ever had, and I'm very excited to finally have them, but I am coming in to day 17, fresh off the disappointment of not being able to buy my motorcycle yesterday because the trade is restocked when I didn't want them to, but I have the money sitting there ready to go should I come across them down the road. And I've actually taken some advice from the people down in the comments because other people definitely know better than I do. And I've made myself, if I've got the stuff to make some more, I've made myself some repair kits so I can re repair stuff as I go and make some more money when it comes time to sell some things. I'll repair all those a little bit further down the track. I might even, I just, just go like, let's get half of these and bang them in there for later just so I don't forget about it. I use the rest of those to quickly repair these ones as well. Get all the stuff I have, uh, dinky die awesome and ready to go for whatever I come across. Uh, I've got some food in here. I'll take you and turn you off. Alright, I'm pretty sure we're ready to go on our next adventure. And what we're going to do today is go across and raid this joint over here because that is the pawn shop. And I like raiding the pawn shop on the first time. I like taking that first dip full of salsa, but then I also like double dipping. I take a bite of that chip and I put my chip back in the dip. It's like putting my whole face in the dip. So I get to have all the awesome loot from the loot room there the first time. I'm going to go through and get the rest of the loot that is in the rest of that POI before I reset it and do it all again. Uh, overnight, I also probably noticed the floor in there is all fixed up and I weeded the garden, did all the housework while it was cool in the night time. But with that done, let's head out into the big wide open world. This is of course the Alpha 18.2 update. So they have taken away the infinite sprint on the bicycle. So we're going to have to go to the old school way of holding shift and tapping W to try and maximize the amount of distance we can get per stamina bar. There's a lot to keep track of now. The more things they add, the more things you've got to keep in mind. And I'm not good at like multitasking at the best of times. There it is. I assume all the zombies have respawned by now, given I've been gone for quite a while. So I still have to go through the whole POI like the normal way. I can't just go into the loot room again because I've got to reset the whole thing. I may as well make sure that I've got everything I can out of here. I mean, I'm not going to go through and wrench down the cars and stuff because I don't have the time. That's another thing people say in the comments that before I reset POIs, I should wrench all the cars and break everything down. I'm not going to like fully manually dismoli uh, dismolish? demolish a building before I reset it. I just want the major stuff and then we can move on. I'm not going to waste that much time. Alright, come on, buddy. Come on. Here we go. Take a swing. Yep. Right in the face. You take a swing too. Right in the face for you too. Oh, man. The knucks are good. The knucks are good. It's a good time slaughtering zombies. Getting real, like, up close and personal. Feeling their death on my knucks. The only thing I'm actually worried about... Oh, bookcases. The only thing I'm actually worried about at this point is coming across uh, some ferals. Oh, steel knuckle schematic. I can make better ones. Oh, that's a really good find. I'll use them straight off the bat. What do I actually need to make some steel knuckles? Steel knuckles, what do you need from me? Steel knuckle parts. I can make tier five. That's pretty exciting. Forge steel, got that leather duct tape. Okay, so I just need to get steel knuckle parts. Okay, that's my new mission. I mean, they're going to be pretty rare to find. I've only found one set of steel knuckles along the journey so far. So finding the parts for it's going to be a whole other thing. But that's okay. At least now I have something to aim for. But yeah, the thing I'm worried about here is finding ferals or radiators. I haven't come up really against the radiators yet. And the ferals are quick and make me jump and miss my shots. So I need to make sure that I'm trying to stay calm and cool and collected. Despite any sort of green group that may be sliding towards me. Reach, reach. Ah, oh, damn it. Can't reach that far. You've got to reach a little bit further with your spaghetti arms, mate. You've got to try and get the job done, even when they're just out of reach. Surely you can extend one of your corkscrews. If you pop it open wine bottles, you can pop open zombie bottles too. Ah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it every time. All the zombies have definitely respawned. You can see there's a headless Ali right there. You are hate to call it so much. So I'm getting a bit nervous that maybe like all the dogs and stuff are back and normally spawn in the garage. All right, the door's closed though, so that's good news for me. Got a little bit of time to raid the rest of this joint. Some coal. There's usually not a whole lot of great stuff in just like the regular like uh, storefront part of the pawn shop. Uh, anything in the toilet out here. Small bottle of water. I'll take that with me. I'm just going to take everything for the moment. I've got a reasonable amount of space. I don't have to be too picky with what I take. No, nothing there and nothing there. Nothing really anywhere. That's that's always a shame. All right, let's make sure we've got everything before we leave. I just don't want to leave anything behind. Oh, yeah, they're all in here. Can't reach, buddy. Yes, good reach. Solid kill too. No one else woke up. 
Don't see any puppies in here. Got a guy just chilling on the bench. That's cool, bro. Don't mind me. In fact, could I... Oh, damn it. How did you wake up? Was this thing? I don't think it was. I was crouching. I didn't hear the sound of V-Sec on that nonsense. Oh, damn. He woke up his face. All right, fine. If we don't go loud, let's go loud. Then. If that's the way you want to do it, I'm happy to oblige. I don't mind which way you want to do it. You're going to die. If you want to die loudly or die quietly, that's up to you. I'm happy to give you whatever death you desire. All right, job done. Let's start this all over again. It's so tier two, fetch and clear. So I can't take the shortcut. I have to do the whole lot. I have to clear the whole joint. Plus, the bag looks like it's going to be up on the roof. So... Whew, all right, let's uh, let's get this rocking and rolling. Or maybe I should maybe I should lure all the Muppets that are in the the loot room out to start with. That's gonna be dogs and stuff like that, which I don't really want to fight. There's a couple of brass things I can loot from uh, scrap from there. So maybe I can bring them out to here so I can fire them in the open area so I don't get trapped inside with a bunch of ravenous juice bags. Okay, we just gonna have a peek through the window. Anyone in there? I see the chests. I don't see any zombies. Uh, oh, I see. Okay, there's a guy sitting on the bench. All right, let's just uh, let's just break our way in here to start with. We'll do that so we don't get trapped, and then we can work our way through the whole POI after. Doesn't look like there's any dogs, which is good for me. All right, finish you off. Oh, just got power strokes. Power strokes for days, because you can do that. You can hit them even when you're not looking at them. Just wreck shop as I come in to wreck their shop. Oh, well, shotgun, you're getting up again. That's interesting. I thought you were down for the count. Oh, missed that last one. Dude, die. For the sake, you take a beating. All right, no one else in here, no dogs. All right, we're good. I'll come back to that. Let's go the normal way now. There's the Curious Satchel. Grab that one. Yep, take you. Anyone else hiding in here? Doesn't really look like it. Medical chest. Please get the vitamins. Always, always want more. I mean, I already ate all the rotten meat. I probably should use the vitamins for that one. More murky water. I didn't leave all the shit outside either, which is going to annoy a lot of people. Scrap the double barrel shoddy for now because I just need the parts anyway. Uh, we're looking pretty good. I'm also gathering nitrate powder. Uh, where was I? I've got a bunch of it on me somewhere. There it is. Because when I get home, I want to make myself some farm plots. I've got plenty of rotten flesh. I need some nitrate powder. I need some clay soil as well. But I've got most of the stuff I need for that one. I just need to go and actually get it done. Now, I did see. Yes, I did see. There's like a hidden thing up above the fireplace. Let's go up here. Quickly bust it. This bad boy, check what's in the porter. One cloth fragment. Well, that was definitely worth it, wasn't it? Right, POI is done, and we're back in the loot room again. So that was actually a mission for old Trady Potato, who's down to the south. But now with the limit on, like, the, the fact that the stamina actually stops you sprinting on the bicycle, that might be a little bit too far away for me to do now when I'm just cruising around on the old bicycle. I can hear the sound of Muppets cruising around outside. It sounds like a wandering horde, actually. Or maybe even a screamer. I'm not sure. Did I make enough noise in here to uh, warrant a screamer showing up? I don't know. There's nothing hiding in the basement there. It sounds like a bunch of zombies. Did you... No, just the one. God damn it. I, my XP... My taste for XP started dripping. I was like, oh, here we go. I can load up on some levels and get myself the next level of Bonza. But it turns out it wasn't. It was just one Mup cruising around uh, trying to see if he could find a Sheila in the neighborhood. Check all the trash and stuff first. Uh, one dollar redo. All right, cool. Thanks for that. I'm, I'm very much loaded up on a bunch of nonsense. Maybe I should go, like, I might just dump everything into the dumpster when I'm full and then take what I need to back home. I didn't take everything, just the valuable stuff. Iron arrows? Ah, uh, probably not. Oh, there it is. Okay, gun safe is unlocked. Everything else is open. What have you got for me? Machete parts, iron spear, level three reinforced club. Like repair those and sell those. A crucible. That's a good get. I'll take that one. Thank you very much. And... Bow parts, hangar parts, and iron nuts. Scrap the iron nuts because they're not particularly useful to me. Uh, scrap the, uh, the can. All right, we are now completely full, overly cucumbered, like a garden salad. Where would where I leave my bike? Just out the front here. Yes, it is. Okay. I did also find uh, a little uh, post-it note with a challenge to go out and murder some more starving, very not starving tourists all the way out there. So I might even hit that one, then go back down south to Trady Potato and turn it all in to get the most out of it that I can. But first, First, I'm going to head home and get what I need for Trader Potato so I can make the most of it and get as much money as possible. I'm heading the wrong direction, I think. Yep, that's the way over there. I need to actually go home. Oh, did I loot the car out the front? I don't think I did after I reset the whole POI. No, I didn't. Are you going to give me something worth it? You're going to make this little stop worthwhile? Or uh, oil is actually worth quite a bit of money. All right, that's not, that's not that bad at all. Need to get rid of something, though. What don't I need in here? At some point, I will go around these walls on the outside of my little compound here and make them the uh, the zombie-proof walls that I discovered in Jabrutal Park uh, maybe uh, a couple of days ago. I think that episode went out. So I'll make sure that no wandering horse can come up and beat on my walls just by using some wedge tips 
and some creative placement should be enough to do that. Let's quickly go drop the crucible straight off into, there we go, into there. Now I've got all the tools, all the tools underneath my forge are all there. And I might even sing them going on an adventure. Let's just get a whole stack of 6,000. Uh, not that I actually can, or if I can right there. But I'm too super full on all sorts of, of stuff. Let's just get you in there and let's get you started on the burning. Let's put you there and like that. There we go. Get you cooking away. What else can I add to that little pile? I need that to make my farm plot. So maybe I'll add in... Uh, what's actually got to be the best? Th Let's get the brass right. Let's just melt in some brass. Even though brass, I don't need to make bullets. I can make bullets and sell them, which isn't actually that bad of a shout. So let's, in fact, before I do that, make sure I drop off all the brass I have in my inventory. Uh, like that. There we go. Thank you. Man, those inventory buttons are so much more helpful than everything else. Uh, the, the link to those inventory buttons, by the way, are in the description. I get that comment a lot. In the description down below is the download link for those buttons. A lot of them out there, but the one I use is down below. Got all the stuff I need to sell. All right, we're pretty good to go. In fact, before I go though, I did remember that I did find a level three shovel, steel shovel, as opposed to the iron shovel I got right now. Let's quickly take you, modify that, take all the good stuff out of you, and bang you onto the steel one. I don't know why I didn't do this before. I just kind of forgot that I had it. There we go. Like that. There we go. Level three iron for a level three steel. I can already sell the iron. It's worth a lot of quite money, actually. I'm pretty happy with that one. All right. That's a lot of money. A lot of dollar dues waiting to be gathered just there. So let's head back out. Quickly go punch a bunch of fat bastards in whatever chin I can reach. There's several of them. I've got plenty to choose from. Let's just leave this smelting away, actually. How, how are you looking? You've got 30 seconds left on you. So before I go, I might even just load you up with the next lot of whatever I need to put in there. Maybe I should just... No, I need to keep the clay soil. Advanced bellows, lots of anvils, lots of everything in there. Um... Maybe I'll just split the, the, that stack of iron. Just load it up with iron. We can worry about the clay soil later. All right, that'll do for now. It's probably going to call in a screamer, but that's okay. I haven't fought a screamer yet in fists only. So when that eventually comes to pass, that will be a bad time for me. But I'll have to deal with it as best I can. All right, it's midday. The cicadas are chirping and coming out of their rock hard shells. Come out of the ground and bring on the last part and the shortest part of their lives. So let's head off to the fat bastards down here. Do that one real quick. Head off to the trader. Hopefully buy some motorized transportation. I'm not holding up my hopes for that. Though. I don't think it's restocked since then. And then we can feel a little bit better about that. We come home, dig up some soil, make our farm plots. Tomorrow, I need to go off and see P uh, the big bad piggly winks at uh, Grace's farm and steal some super corn. I've got the ability to make super corn seeds. I've got the farm plots. I need to start growing some goodness. Oh, that's a nice big steep hill so I can maintain my stomach and just hold shift and roll down the hill. Uh, where is this joint? Anyway, should be just out here somewhere. Should be too far away. I had to go around a gigantic mountain because now I can't just power over it anymore. My spaghetti noodles cannot handle that kind of nonsense. Look at that. Look at that giant mountain I had to find my way around. I found a path which made it a little bit easier. Where are all these idiots? They should be just there. Alright, that's enough of that. Let's grab this and head off up to find the waiting line for the Macca's drive through Where are you, you big bad bastards? Here we go. Let's just get this done nice and quick. Where are they all going to come from? Over there. Right, before I do anything though, let's quickly actually track this quest so I can see when I'm done with it. And let's go meet them head on. Take a swing please. There you go. And oh, right in the face. Oh man, these knuckles are good. Alright, I'm just gonna leave them to roll down the hill. When you're spherical shaped, you're gonna roll down whatever incline you might die on. And then we should be pretty okay. I still don't have my icon on the map. My map is still broken. But if I guess correctly, this path just down here should lead me back to Trady Potato. So let's grab my bicycle back and just bonk it onto this hill here like that. Alright, and take off back we go to the trader. Hopefully he's got something good for me. Hopefully something out there is gonna make this little adventure of mine worthwhile. I'm getting pretty late on in the day. I'm not sure what else I can do today once I go back and get a new quest. I'm not gonna go south and cash in the other one. I have to go south tomorrow to get back to Bob's Ball. But I'm not going to do that today. Oh, yes, we finally made it. it. Took us a while, but we finally made our way back here. Oh, yeah, I thought I heard you. I thought I heard you come up behind. There was a vulture flapping its way to peck out my eyeballs. Come on, easy does it. And nope, I went way too early on that one. Way, way too early. Josh, what are you doing? But I will take that rotten flesh. Didn't do too much damage, which is kind of okay. I don't want to get up the gravel. I want to take the bird. The birds are part of the trade of protection. Oh, right, we're finally back here. 
Oh, Matt, you would not believe the journey I have been on. What have you got for me today? Iron crossbow worth a bit of coin. Military brutes worth not a lot of coin. Oh, a steel pickaxe. A better steel pickaxe. Well, I'll take you because I'm always on the lookout for some better and bigger tools. Thank you very much. What other jobs do you have? Anything close by that I can knock out pretty quickly? Oh, Northwest Tier 3. That's going to be worth some coin. Uh, two kilometers to the east. That's way too far away. Everything else is super duper far. So okay, let's just go with that one for now. And hopefully I'll do the others yeah, when I find myself a motorcycle. Speeding a motorcycle. Do you have it? No, you don't. What about some knuckle parts? Knuckle parts. Iron knuckles. Nothing, nothing there. Do you even sell knuckle parts? I don't know if you do. But you let me down on every front at this point. So normally I sell like all the parts and stuff. But now I'm kind of thinking that maybe I should hold on to them. And make some things down the road. Like if I'm just going to start making things to sell. I may as well keep the parts to do it. Especially when they're like all these things here are steel steel armor steel tools and steel sledgehammer if i can make one of those i'll make a lot more coin i'll keep the shotgun parts as well uh bow crossbow parts i don't think i have anything in the bow skills maybe that's not that's that, uh, that uh, maybe it's not that worth it if i could talk properly uh so i'll sell you guys i'll keep the machete parts sell the scrap leg armor and all of these guys down here too all right we're looking pretty good now someone did say i can press like shift and sell and it would sell all of them that clearly doesn't work so i still have to go like this not sure if I misread that or what, but there we go. We're looking okay. All right, so let's uh let's quickly just like comb through what he's got. Not quickly, let's slowly comb through to make sure I don't miss anything. To so, uh, see if there's anything else here I might want to buy. I've got plenty of coins. I just need to see if there's anything that's gonna make my life a little bit easier. No, nope, nothing oh, in there at all. You uh, genuine well, spanner. Well, I came here hoping for some hope and dreams, and you gave me absolute donuts. You gave me Krispy Kremes, and not even like the delicious ones that give you diabetes. You gave me Krispy Kremes in the fact that they're completely empty carbs and they're not good for you at all. So you're a waste of my time. Let's head back into town. Uh, what else is up here? Whereabouts? Oh, oh, it's, oh, it's a mine. Is that a mine? I think it is. It's actually not that far away. I could probably knock that one out by the end of the day. Then go home, make the farm plots ready for tomorrow. I don't know. It's like it's, it's housekeeping things I need to do, but I don't want to waste daylight keeping up my house. I need to go out tomorrow, go to Bowls Balls, get the seeds, plant them into my garden. And then it's probably start thinking about the hordes. We're day 21 horde, and it's going to be a pretty high game stage as well. I, uh, I might be in a little bit of trouble for that. All this work I'm doing to make my house nice and cozy is probably going to be completely redundant, given I'll probably die in a couple of days anyway. Before I do anything, though, I do need to remember to pick up the uh, all the concrete blocks that I made in here the other day to fix up the floor in the garage. Take you guys. Thank you very much from there. In fact, while I'm standing here as well, let's quickly go here, take you and you, and swap you out for this one. Here, I'm probably going to need that at some point in the not-too-distant future. Uh, do I scrap you for more steel tool parts? I probably do, actually. Not a bad shout. I'm going to get enough of those up that eventually I'll be able to make myself like a tier 6 steel pickaxe or something like that. Or even a steel uh, fire axe or something. Just make life a little better. You know, quality of life kind of stuff. And even if I don't, I can still make something to sell and make some more dollary dues. This, oh no, it's this one. It's Piggly Winx's place. It's the one with the stupid bunker underneath, I think. Yeah, it looks like it is. I think from memory, like just here, I think is the exit from the loot room on, uh, downstairs. Yeah, I'm pretty close by. I can't quite see the entryway though. It's over here somewhere. I need the clay soil anyway. I may as well dig it up now. I don't want to have to go through and clear the whole drone because it'll take forever. But I want to get in there, get all the good loot, then come out and respawn it all. And then maybe I'll have enough time within the day to get it all done. Right, there's the ladder down. Now, normally there's like military guys and stuff down here. So this could be a pretty silly decision if I'm going down here right now. But I got the nuts, so I may as well give it a crack. Oh, I guess there's a barricade on the door. Okay, let's make a bit of noise. Let's make sure they're all going to come over here and try and get mad at me. Because then I can just punch them right square in the knees and ruin any chance they had of being an adventurer. There you go. Down. Oh, oh God, he's coming in. That's hooked out his legs and that gave him access to me. No, stop it. Oh my god, okay, we've got another Muppet coming in. You're breaking the thing open for me. Did you die? No, really? But where's your other shoe? Dude, the money you turned into a zombie, you got the whole hazmat suit on, but you lost your boot. That's how the disease got in, and that's what turned you into this abomination you are now. I see one more guy over there. I don't think there's any more, though. No, I think it's just this Muppet. Okay, that's good for me. Nice strong doors and bulletproof windows and stuff. This would be a wonderful place to live if I... Uh, I mean, you could be bothered getting down here and clearing it out early. It's all nice and bulletproof and stuff. Nice and strong. You do have that hole leading up to the surface out there, which probably isn't great for your longevity survival concerns. 
Ah, oh, so much to loot. Okay, let's just get it started though. What's in the reinforced chest? Some more mods, a press board. Ooh, leather armor. No, I've already got, pretty sure I've already got pretty decent armor on already. I've got tier four iron, which is gonna be better than that anyway. Plus I've specced into heavy armor. In fact, I do have another bonzer skill point to spend. How many I got? Just one. How close am I to another level of the brawler? A long, long way away. I need tier 10, which is gonna be a lot of points in the fortitude. So let's put it into, let's put it into heavy armor instead. Let's keep ourselves from getting hurt just a little bit more. I just found possibly the greatest mod book I have found yet. The mod schematic for the triple storage pocket mod, which only takes actually not that much gear. Uh, some leather, duct tape, scrap polymers, mechanical parts. Don't know why I need mechanical parts for pockets, but okay, sure. Uh, and three sewing kits. I've got an abundance of sewing kits at home and all the rest of this stuff. So I can go home and just keep myself out with triple storage pocket mods. That's a really good find. I'll take that one. Just found the lab equipment box up there, which goes against my rule. The lab equipment boxes never give you anything fun. Uh, scrap that one. It's going to you guys as well. I'm over encumbered with so much gubs. That's the thing. When you come down to this area down here, it's all the extra stuff around that you load yourself up on. Because there's so many habits and like uh, medical supply piles and stuff. Before you know it, you just like spill it out from every orifice. After looting everything in here, there's no way I have enough time to go through and actually do this POI properly. I put some stuff up into the bicycle upstairs just in case. Is there someone waiting for me in here? There probably is. Oh, it's one of the laboratory girls instead of the nurse. Uh, Reach, damn it. God damn, I really, I really miss having the Reach to get some stealth shots, you know? Getting stealth shots was my bread and butter back in the day. I can't do it anymore. I hear another mop. Oh, I hear a couple of mops. Oh, got a good drive-by shot on that guy. Hit you as well. You're dead, everyone dies. Everyone dies at the hands of the steel knuckled man. I'm completely full of gubbins, so it's time to head home once again. Let's go home and make myself some pocket mods to free up the last of that space. Being able to make triple storage pocket mods is a godsend. It means I know I still haven't spent any points on pack mule, and now I never ever will have to, because I can fully deck myself out with pockets and carry everything that I will ever need. I mean, the only other thing I could kind of want is if I found the ability to make those cargo pockets so they just strap onto like your jacket and stuff like that, because you can't put the actual triple pocket mods onto those things. You have to on like your armor and stuff like that but i still think it should hopefully give me enough to actually get in there and do or i carry all the things i need to carry i'll come back and get the stuff out of the bike in a second let's just make sure i drop all the stuff off in here that I might need let's just quickly grab my uh concrete blocks and sort you out actually before i do that where is the oh uh, where am i going to put the ladder let's put the ladder yeah, right there, I suppose. All right, that can all go like that. I'll put the rest of you in here. Anything else need to go in the bucket? Yeah, you can go in there too. God, there's so much stuff. All right, before I do anything else, let's quickly go and make, even quickly go, let's go and make myself the, uh, no, I don't those ones, the farming plot. Where's all my rotten flesh? I'm sure I'll put it in here somewhere. There is, take you. I need a couple of you. I think it was also some wood and... What was the last one? I don't even remember anymore. Farm, far, farm plots. There we go. What, what am I missing? Nitrate powder. You was the one. Nitrate powder. Grab you as well. I need to go outside and get all the clay I left in the chest. I had that I didn't smelt into my forge for this exact reason. Grab you. Got plenty of them. Make three. What am I short? I'm short on nitrate powder. That's all right. I'll probably go out there and find some in the big bad world. There's probably some like not too far away, actually. It's like, like the spiky ball that's on the ground, I think, is the nitrate powder. Anything nearby that I can quickly go harvest. I mean, I'm kind of tempted to go out there in the night time. Uh, because let's be honest, if I can punch like, an army zombie to death, then why can't I punch everything else at night time to death? But I also am worried about spider zombies. They are not to be trifled with, even at the best of times. Um, no, nah, there's no no nitrate powder right next door. That's okay though. Three out farm pots for now should be enough. I just need to remember tomorrow to go and farm myself some more. How long do you take to craft? Not very long. And I'm trying to think of where the best place is going to be to put them. Maybe across there? Or maybe up on the roof, actually. Because if the zombies do get inside here, I don't want them to break down my brand new super corn crop. I'm just going to get rid of the roof here and plant my planters into the roof. Keep them nice and safe from any sort of zombies that might get lucky and get inside my compound. But also give them the most amount of sun. You know, if I plant them down there, then they're going to miss all of the rising sun in the morning. They're only going to get the sun in the evening. And that's not going to make a very nice, good super corn crop. So to get rid of all of you, or even here... I mean, oh, they'll get sun at like 10 a.m. That'll be fine. I mean, three spots, boom, 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 just like that. There we go. A roof planter ready to go. As the night closes in, 
Oh boy, what a day that's been. All right, put you back down here. Let's go downstairs. I'll put all of you into a different kind of chest to keep track of you all. And I need to make myself some more storage pockets to make my movement a little bit better. So I only need the two, which is pretty convenient because that's as many materials as I have. It's going to take two and a half minutes in the workbench out the front out here. So let's quickly go here, get you on the go. Uh, triple storage pocket mod, craft two of those. Thank you very much. Okay, that's good. Well, is there anything else that I'm missing? Can I make... Let's see what I can make into the steel world. Uh, forge steel, no, like, like steel pickaxe. What do you take? Steel forge parts. I can make level one of that. So I need to start thinking, if I'm going to start going down that track, I need to level up my uh, ability to make tools. Because level ones aren't going to do dick for anyone. 15 steel knuckle parts. That's so rough. That's so many. Oh, I'm never going to get enough to make one of those. All right, well, I've got some more food on the cook over there just to level out my stack of grilled meat. Got my food, got my water, got my lockpicks and my bike. I've got some stack of raw meat on me, which is kind of silly. And tomorrow, I'm going to put that back in there. Tomorrow, I'm going to head off back down south. I'm going to head up Bob's Boars all the way down there. Hit Traded Potato there. Hopefully, sell some more stuff. Hopefully, buy some more things. I mean, I don't know. Is there going to be other traders around here somewhere? Like, traditionally, there was only ever four traders on the map at any time. But I feel like maybe with Alpha 18, there might be some more. There's a lot of areas down here where a trader could be living that I just don't know about yet. So I'll start heading back down south to get my new crop. Hopefully not die to the big green tusks of Gracie down in the caves. And hopefully survive long enough to appreciate the house I'm building for myself here. But I'm going to have to do all that in the next episode. Because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to all the patrons on Patreon who made this episode possible. If you like to make sure the like button down below or subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.